I was four years old when my family ran away to other country. This was a danger for my father because he was in Afghan army and Taliban killing who was in Afghan army. We was in many countries. I was in Turkey, we was in Kazakhstan, Pakistan, Iran. Finally, we moved to Russia. We don't have a future in Russia. People don't like you if you say you Muslim, maybe. I remember two times they beat me because I don't know why. It's, I, I, I can't answer for you. Hello? Hello. These boys are like the leaders of the family, and so they feel very responsible for their family back home. And their family has no legal status in the former Soviet Union. They can't uh, send their kids to school. They can't find employment. They're just kind of stuck there. It's a very complicated process. A refugee would go through a pretty extensive vetting process that involves the Department of State, Homeland Security, that takes 18 months to two years on average. There are nine refugee resettlement agencies in the U.S. Highest is the only Jewish one, and it's the oldest refugee resettlement organization in the United States. About a year and a half ago, it suddenly the housing prices spiked, and our team was truly struggling. We couldn't sleep at night. We were having these people come in. We had no place to put them. And so our executive director wrote um, an article that went out to the Interfaith Network. We kind of thought, well, we have 80 bedrooms, maybe we could do something to help. We've placed six refugees there, and now we have a place for emergency transitional housing, which we never had before. The first refugee who was here, one morning he was outside walking around with his laptop, holding it up high and low, and he's walking around the building, and one of our employees went out and said, you know, we have internet in the rooms, because she thought he was out trying to get a signal. And he's like, no, I'm Skyping with my mom. I want her to see how safe I am. Welcome, welcome. Hey, How Brother Mike. <laughs> it just became like love at first sight. I mean, truly, it was just this amazing relationship that developed from there. I'm Muslim, Jewish family, Christians. <laughs> it's, it's really amazing. Uh, my English was really zero. <laughs> All Kamal could say was, hi, how are you? My name's Kamal. How are you today? And that's it. I can't say more. And then he does say, I have a really important question for you. What's that? How are you today? <laughs> I mean, that was the joke. I mean, that was the best we could do in the beginning. The refugee crisis is affecting us. There's no way of avoiding that. We can pretend to ignore it, or we can deal with it. The director of Hyas says, I quote him, that we do this work not because we're resettling Jewish people, but because we are Jewish people. Here I have a voice, I have a choice, I have a dream, and I, I just have a feeling for myself freedom. I want to go in a culinary college to Lake Orden Blue. Now I speak English, and sometimes I'm surprised for myself because, like, oh wow, I speak English. <laughs> I want to study computer science. One more big goal is invite my family, and we can finally be together again. Just find new country, new home.